this is amazing! Hey everyone, and welcome to the Thoughtful Free Space, putting your mind to things you may not normally think about. Another week has passed, and that means it's time for another episode of Isn't That Amazing? Focusing on topics big or small that I think or you think are amazing. If you have any ideas of what you want to see, leave it in the comments below. Now getting back on the science track is something that I quite enjoy and hopefully you do too. It deals with all living things and is a major topic in science. Today we're discussing biology. Let's get into it. Now this is my field. This is what I studied in college and I love biology. There's so much involved in it. Biology is the study of life and living things. To go even further, that includes an organism's structure, evolution, life cycle, function, habitat. I could keep going all day, honestly. Like I explained in the first This Is Amazing series episode involving science, biology can be split up into many different disciplines. Not only will I go into how biology is amazing, but I'll go through three different disciplines and maybe you'll find something you like. Starting off, as I have explained, biology encompasses all living things from the micro scale to the macro scale, otherwise known as from the small scale to the large scale. The study of life, though, is a little weird. The definition of life is that you have the capacity to grow, reproduce, have some kind of function and activity, as well as continual change before death. Many animals, plants, and even cells fit that description. One kind of organism that does not fit that description though, but is still studied, are viruses. And viruses are weird. I remember in my microbiology class I first learned about them, and it's so strange on how these things function. These are biological agents that are unable to reproduce by themselves, and in order to pass on their DNA, they need to hijack other systems. This hijacking of normal cell function is what causes viruses to be able to spread and grow. Under the definition of life, that means these are not living, but they're still able to do this task, and it's such a strange thing. And viruses are not the only example of this. There are other things like virions. But before I go into a rant, let's bring it back. It begs so many questions, but this is just one of the many interesting things you can find in this topic. Moving on, the first topic and subfield to discuss in this episode is molecular biology. This deals with the biological activity within cells and interactions between biomolecules. This is both the simplest and most complex you can get as this deals with DNA, RNA, and proteins for both their synthesis and regulation. This field is so important not only because it deals with all of these things, but it tells the story of how genetic information is passed on. This story is called the central dogma of biology. Starting from DNA, a blueprint of what you need, being transcribed into RNA, the workable code, and finally that code being translated into proteins, the working machinery. While there are many failsafes at this level, a small change like a different amino acid can cause huge changes on a bigger scale. Some techniques that are used in this field include PCR, which is otherwise known as a polymerase chain reaction, and in situ hybridization, where in situ means local. We'll now move up slightly higher on the scale and we'll start talking about cells, specifically cell biology. This deals with the specific structures and functions of a cell and explains how this is the basic unit of life. There are two different types of anatomical cells, prokaryotic and eukaryotic. Cell biology focuses on the eukaryotic cell, as humans are eukaryotes, or multi-celled organisms. 
This is an important field as if a cell doesn't function correctly, problems can arise. One example is if a cell's growth cycle goes completely out of control and runs rampant. This is one of the ways cancer can start to occur. Techniques common in cellular work include growing cell culture and staining. Moving up again in the scale, we can now start to talk about developmental biology. This field deals with the development of an organism in terms of how they grow and develop their origin, as well as what happens if these processes during development fail. There are a couple of classic model organisms in this field, which are organisms that have been extensively studied over the years. These include fruit flies, sea elegans, zebrafish, and mice. Some people really dislike animal testing. But if that kind of testing didn't get done, we would most likely be behind in a lot of scientific progress. In developmental biology, the embryo is what is usually examined as this is where people can see how certain cells change and grow. While I've been focused on animals, this can also be done with plants. Microscope work is the name of the game here because it is at a level where we can actually handle these organisms with our hands. So to finish, we need to sum everything up. We started at the very general sense of what biology is and what it means to study a living thing. We then started at the micro scale with molecular biology, examining the central dogma before moving on to cell biology, where we discussed eukaryotic cells. All the processes that occur in molecular biology happen within these cells. So you can already start to see how the complexity gets multiplied with each layer. We then finished off with developmental biology, where multiple eukaryotic cells come together in order to form an organism. This is the journey that we have went through, and that isn't even scratching the surface of this field. And so, because biology can be looked at on both the small and large scale, can be explored in so many different ways and is a crucial part of who we are is why biology is amazing and that is what is so amazing about biology if you have any topics you like in biology or just enjoy the subject in general leave it in the comments below hopefully you all enjoyed this episode and learned something new or at least think about it in a different way. If you liked it, show your love with a thumb and subscribe for more. Thank you all very much and stay awesome.